A cell phone melts in a teenager's bed. I'm Kat Jovi and I have that story for you here on IO. It's a normal habit to charge our phones. I would say 99% of the time I do that. Every single night, plug it in so that it'll be nice and fresh for me in the morning. However, this ended a little bit heatedly for one girl the other week. It was a Samsung Galaxy S4 that was owned by a young Texan girl. She did what she does every night. She plugged in her phone and went to bed. However, she woke up to the smell of burning. She woke up and looked around quickly, trying to figure out where the smell was coming from. She was alarmed to find out that it was coming from under her pillow. She looked under the pillow and there it was. It was just a mesh of melted, burnt up phone components, the bed was scorched, the pillow was scorched, and obviously it smelled pretty bad. Well yeah, if you leave an electronic device in an unventilated area, aka smothered under your pillow, it's going to overheat. Now it's probably not usually going to melt and be quite as horrible, but it's not going to be good for the device or for you. Having a phone near your head like that, there's radiation and stuff coming off of it probably. It's just not a good idea. You're going to get head tumors if your bed's not going to burn down first. Now Samsung users, don't get too worried about this. The battery apparently was an aftermarket battery, so it wasn't the usual one that comes with it. So it could have been just compatibility with that made it, you know, not as safe as it might have been, but at the same time, you just don't put it under your pillow. And also iPhone users, before you get too excited, there also have been cases of Apple phones doing the same thing. Apparently Samsung will be replacing the product, the mattress, and the pillow because they believe in product quality and the safety of their consumers. Isn't that sweet? They are of course also looking to get their hands on that specific product so they can try to figure out what went wrong with it. Was it the battery? Was it the phone? Was there something faulty? They want to find out so of course this doesn't happen again. They also also strongly recommend customers to read the instruction manual, aka don't put it under your pillow, don't fall asleep with your phone, don't let your phone be under the sheets, aka put your phone on a side table, on a nightstand, charge it over there, why are you falling asleep with your phone? Also of course this story tells us to be careful of aftermarket products. Trust me, you will sleep better. I'm Kat Jovi, this was IO, and my question to you guys is, are you going to sleep a little less soundly tonight because of this story? Comment below, let me know.